yes. more than anything else. And so what is what is our last one? It's going to be the Faceless Void. So, so they go for Teamfight Lockdown. A little bit of trouble, though, doing damage into Chronosphere targets. Yeah, very farm heavy, and then later on you can... Or oh, the TNC. They're going to try and contest that top that top bounty rune. Pick him up, throw him away with a telekinesis. But then the focus target, it is going to be down towards the Rubik. 1437's on the run. Is there enough pressure from Sam H and Tim's? There isn't in time to kill off Crit. But the Sticky Napalm is there, making it difficult for Crit to escape. One more punch from Tim's will do the work. The Sam H is taking significant amount of damage. But, uh, simply because of the extra creep now, there's going to be a lot of emphasis on... Oh, Crit. Get, get out of here, Crit. Top lane, he's being fireflied up. Sticky Napalm to four stacks. All that firefly needs to do is get on top of him. Oh, the more, But the Centaur Storm, it keeps Artesian Zai controlled. Crit will die, <laughs> and Sam H will get a solo kill. Zai dropped pretty low as well. Uh, Samael is on the wrong side of the tracks. One range creep's able to find him. Tim's will be there. Quick blink forward. Cuckoo's going to find the kill. And instead, Samael's trying to get aggressive oh, in mid. The torrent will be able to connect. He's got blink, but doesn't have the time. The stun from Zai fold up perfectly. Now Samael in trouble. Rotations from Tim's as well as 1437. The telekinesis grind will hold him in position. The torrent in mid will set up his X. Good harass coming out on Kuku here. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, they're trying to actually go onto the faceless void. I say trying, succeeding. GD International, where 1437 used to play for them. Like that quick movement, the two of them just move together oh, and you just find the kills. He has Zai's trap between the tower. One, four, three, sevens come in. And the Observer Ward sees all. The turret will be able to connect on three, but Zai can't get out of here. Cuckoo, Sonic Wave commits. Samael jumps over the top. They'll have to trigger off the shrine. Samael cannot battle against that level of regeneration. He does get the silence off, but Void is still there. Samael will get punished. Very minor gold lead, though. This isn't that bad for EG's lineup, as, as we talked about earlier. Oh, it's Universe is dead as well. I mean, it's it's starting to hurt a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Sam H is desperately trying to reach. Find crit now. Who finds who, though? I think Sam H is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's going to die here, more than likely. Yeah, you've already got that little hit coming in from the Fortune Zen. Tarn to follow up. Can't TP out of this one anymore. And even with the Firefly, he's burning Zai down a fair chunk, but... While everyone else gets back to their farm. This is going to be an. This is going to be an attempt mid. I think he's going to pop darkness into silence. Perfect scream, Sonic Wave, and Samael gets obliterated. Zai tried to help out. His torrent was in a good. Come up with the Sonic. So nice kill. TNC. And TNC instantly turned this into something favorable. In fact, it may be even more favorable. Oh, Conquer the Firefly up. There's your lasso. They're thinking about cliffing him, but they'll put him on the ground so Juggernaut can fight at the Chronosphere from Universe. It'll catch his teammate, but he's trying to buy time. Omnisize Cheval from Juggernaut starts his spin and instantly goes into the TP. They want to bail out this one. Tim's fly up. He doesn't actually have ability to TP out this one, and you'll have to jump up to battle him. It's Universe versus Tim's. Who is king of the hill? Right now, Universe, he skipped more time on he won't get it. Tim's is the king of the hill! Surviving EG! They wanted something in return, but they'll lose their offlaner as well. All they wanted to do was stop the tier 1 tower from dying. Well, they did that. I suppose Samael can now kill him. <laughs> There's... Hey, I'm gonna really get in the mix of the fight straight away. Oh, bottom lane. Are they gonna find an opening? It's Universe. Actually gonna be false promised. And uh, uh, Sam H. Having to run away. Time delay is making it difficult. So there's the Torrent and the Orb and the Rift. Everything they've got. Ship included. Throwing down towards the Batrider. Nateezy gets himself involved. Necro books as well as Wolves diving into the tower. Looking for 1437. One, moving back to his tier 2 tower. The Dream Call catching out Tim's. Nightstalker once more can die. Not worth as much money this time for the Samael double kill. But while this is going on, Raven is taking the tier 2 tower. Orb already used by Samael, trying to use it to push the lane out. But now he doesn't have it. Silenced up, controlled up. The spin damage combining with the silence, Puck will pop. Pattern, that looks like exactly what they're going to do. Yeah, and there's your Observer Ward. So 1437 will see him. They do, however, see the rest of the heroes behind with the Dream Call. Catching 1437. Raven, he's out. They're going to sacrifice the Rubik here. They do not want this fight. But they did get some aggressive wards down. Raven, trouble. There's a wolf on his tail at the moment. Trying to body block up. And Arteezy, he does it perfectly.
Finally, blocked up one avenue. Raven doesn't even think he can get through the second, and he will be brought down. Towns, they take the more these fights continue, the more money they're gonna get. They're looking for Raven. Universe gonna chronosphere him up. Sam H nearby. Blink last though, just controlling on Samail. Torres still doing his work. Raven into the Omni Slash. The Creep Wave soaks up a fair amount of the jumps, however, and Samail keeping hot on his tail. So is Arteezy. You'll set bring him up, and when Raven hits the ground, torrented up, he will fall. Sam H also in a world of hurt, getting time locked over in the tree lines, trying to juke it out. He's lost his firefly. He needs to blink away, but the urn, he jukes it! He went down into the small little corner on the left, moves down, can blink away. Actually, not even blinking. Just in Alina Barracks. Well, they're looking for the pick. Smoked up, moving through mid. Best target right now is Cuckoo grabbing that 28 minute rune. He's just farming up, they need the control, and there's your blink into a Chronosphere. It's perfectly done from Universe support on the way. Tim's gonna be nearby, but they've already lost the Queen of Pain. He might Tim's will start his TP out, and they're going for Roshan. They burnt Necro books as well as Wolves, so they really want to make the most out of this. They're going in for Roshan. Look at that haste rune from Samael. Are TNC just gonna give this away? Samael's coming up for 1437. Yep. Like, they, 1 for 3, 7 is trying to add pressure towards the tower. Okay, now Samael's actually back keeping here. back. Sam yep. H, 5 flying over, blinks in. Lasso gonna grab Universe. Remember, they've got no Chronos to work with. Underneath Roshan, who's already down to 1 fifth of his HP. Support will arrive. Raven blinks in. He was almost looking to steal off Roshan. They have to trigger off the pipe. What'd you end up getting stolen? Okay, it's just gonna be ripped for the moment. But 1 for 3, 7 hit by the torrent with the X to start it off. That'll do the work. They're looking for more Timps. Dream called up. Omni Slash nicely hitting on almost all the heroes from EG, but the damage being distributed perfectly, meaning the Crick finds himself a double kill. And so far, TNC haven't found anything yet. Crick Crit actually gets himself a triple kill, throwing out the nukes. They're trying to lock down Cuckoo. He got X'd. He'll quickly Yule Scepter up, however. And the Queen of Pain, but the problem is you just got this feeling that she's still going to be very hesitant to go in. There's just so much damage and control and sustainability in EG's lineup. Oh, she's trying to go on to Zai. X marks the spot. You still got the screen, the sonic wave available. Zai gonna let the ship fly, but you also have to protect the Queen of Pain, but cannot protect her from the Chronosphere. All damage, you got the Rift to follow up as well. Silence cannot blink away. Or okay. Hal, like, all of these things are available right now for Evil Geniuses. Arteezy will burn all three of them in one big go, and that tier three tower, it doesn't stand a chance. Universe goes in deeper, Sam H again has to defensively BKB the Chronosphere, does put up the fight a little bit more, the Dream Call holding in TNC, so Arteezy just does a lap around the Chronosphere to come in for the extra kill, there's a hit onto the Bat Rider, and TNC, they've lost control of this game now, Evil Genius is taking the top racks, but what do they get in return here, TNC? You bought back on the Bat Rider, you're looking for a kill, at least Tim doesn't get hit by the boat, but they Jump in once more, blink the time dilation. You're gonna get hit once more by the torrent. And TNC, they've lost too many heroes. That one pick off on the Queen of Pain has now just avalanched into this EG advantage. Yeah, they can probably claim Megas here. They didn't lose their Aegis or their Cheese, I believe, in that exchange. No, they still have both. Yep. Just gonna head straight down to bottom. And th the key piece of information for EG here is that they know Queen. Oh, wait a second, they're gonna go in. Oh, this is really problematic. Maybe with the Omni Slash, Universe can time walk off so much of the damage. Zai will go down. But the Bat Rider, he caused a lot of confusion. The issue is Raven. Manta, break free of the silence. They still need to kill off Arteezy. He's in dog form. You'll set him up. Cuckoo wants more control. They got the scream. 1437. He's got nothing to really give. The blink forward. You can time walk into the Fable. Reduce that damage, but Universe, now the Sheets gets triggered, some males back into the fight. The Dream Call will control them. TNC will push in the envelope, but right now, EG are delivering the death letter to their families. In that Roche fight, right before they claim the Aegis, you, you know for sure that I still have Aegis, so there's no way she has buyback. Unless you've timed it perfectly, then you obviously know exactly Oh, what's going Chrono! On. Universe, he got him! The Torrent from Zai, they knew exactly where Raven was. Just trying to relieve a little bit of the pressure by pushing out mid and then the spin TP. Normally you're pretty good as a juggernaut to get out of that one, but TNC, they realize it's over. GG, they've...